Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am Muhammad Adnan Abid, your co-teacher for the course Principles of Animal Life 2. Today we will discuss lecture number 22 related to evolution and the topic we will discuss is neo lamarckism it is combination of two words and jaise aapko nazar aa raha hai it is neo and lamarckism and neo means new and lamarckism jaise ki hum pichle previous lecture mein discuss kar chuke hain is a theory proposed by jean baptist lamarck theory of inheritance of acquired characters new lamarckism means the theory original theory proposed by lamarck has certain flaws in it so th morgan and cop two scientists they proposed a modified form of lamarckism in order to make it more suitable to modern knowledge so that's why the modified form of the lamarckism is known as neo lamarckism how we can define the neo lamarckism the acquired characters which become incorporated in the germ plasm are heritable and accumulate generation after generation resulting in the origin of new forms or new species as we discussed in the last lecture the acquired characters are the characters changes acquired in an organism during its lifetime by the use or disuse of organism and the influence of environment so that acquired characters which become incorporated in the germ plasm what is germ plasm the genetic material of germ cells uh, germ cells include the sperms and the eggs if acquired characters incorporated in that germ cells the germ plasm they are heritable means they can be transmitted from one generation to the next generation and after death they result in the origin of a new forms or new species so this is known as neo lamarckism this modern theory of evolution is based on lamarckism man retain the fundamental concepts that acquired characters are inherited but uh, the main difference in this theory is that acquired characters can only be inherited if it become incorporated in the germ plasm next experiments in support of inheritance of acquired characters certain scientists perform different experiments in support of inheritance of acquired characters first one is boner a boner ne experiments kiye he performed transplantation experiments within native and unnatural environment native environment is familiar to organism means as the environment is there organism there hai it is native to him and unnatural environment the environment that is unfamiliar to an organism to dono kisam ke environment mein usne different experiments kiye boner ne and to he check out point out that uh, if variations are produced due to some environmental changes within native or unnatural environment that variations can be inherited means unme kuch changes aayi hain to un changes kya hongi next parents se unke offspring mein kya ho jayegi inherit ho jayegi transmit ho jayegi so this also support the theory of inheritance of acquired characters next fp sumner he performed experiments on mice ab in this experiments ne kya kiya usne he reared mice at high temperature high temperature ranges from 20 to 30 degrees centigrade and he observed that after rearing the mice at high temperature 20 to 30 degrees centigrade there were certain changes in the body of that mice ab wo changes kya kya thi mice mein the body increase in size means this they have a longer body the tail increase in size uh, the normal tail se tail ka size zyada ho gaya by giving high temperature 
एंड लॉन्गर हैंड लिम्स जो बैक लिम्स हैं बैक लेग्स हैं वो भी क्या थे लॉन्गर हो गई थी सो दीज आर द वेरिएशंस प्रोड्यूस बाय गिविंग हाई टेम्परेचर टू माइस सो आफ्टर दीज वेरिएशन प्रोड्यूस तो दीज वेरिएशंस वर इनहेरिटेड फ्रॉम द पेरेंट्स टू द ऑफ स्प्रिंग नेक्स्ट जो उनके ऑफ स्प्रिंग में थे उनमें भी सेम लॉन्गर बॉडी थी लॉन्गर टेल एंड लॉन्गर हाइंड लिम्स थी so this uh, experiment also supported the theory of inheritance of acquired characters next mcdougal he performed experiments on rats uh, isne kya kiya rats ko train kiya different escape routes provide kiye tank ke andar and he trained rats to escape to follow escape routes from tank of water ab kya hai wo rat hai फौरी उन स्केप रूट्स तक नहीं पहुंचेगा, बल्कि क्या करेगा पहले कुछ मिस्टेक्स करेगा देन आज तक सब मिस्टेक्स हैं उनकी क्या होती है कम होती जाएंगी डिक्रीज इन द नंबर ऑफ एरर्स पहले जो स्केप रूट्स थे उसे जल्दी नहीं मिलते थे वो टैंक से जल्दी स्केप नहीं कर पाता था लेकिन विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम विद द ट्रेनिंग ही लर्न हाउ टू स्केप फ्रॉम द टैंक ऑफ वाटर सो विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम there were decrease in the number of errors and these variations were next transmitted to the their offspring means if there were decrease in the number of errors in their parents so there will also decrease in the number of errors in their offspring so this uh, mcdougal experiment also support the theory of inheritance of acquired characters next scientist is the lesson he performed experiments on rats he kept rats in cages ab usne kya kiya different conditions provide ki cages mein for escape so after providing different rotating conditions to rats variations were produced in rats they learn how to escape through rotating conditions so after that uh, these characters were transmitted from parents to their offspring so these were also inherited inheritable so this theory also support the lamarck theory of inheritance of acquired characters next is tower tower also performed experiments to prove the theory of inheritance of acquired characters he performed experiments on young potato beetles is an insect it is a pest of potato he took adult potato beetles and uh, he gave them extreme conditions matlab usne kya kiya unhe extreme moisture provide kiya extreme temperature normal se zyada and x rays use ki ya other radioactive materials hain rays hain वो यूज़ की एक्सट्रीम कंडीशंस प्रोवाइड की यंग पोटैटो बीटल्स को अब जब ये कंडीशंस प्रोवाइड की गई तो नेक्स्ट क्या देखा कि उनमें वेरिएशंस प्रोड्यूस होती हैं आफ्टर गिविंग एक्सट्रीम मॉइस्चर एक्सट्रीम टेम्परेचर और एक्स रेज और अदर रेडिएक्टिव रेज दे वर वेरिएशंस प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द यंग पोटैटो बीटल्स एंड डेट वेरिएशन वर ट्रांसमिटेड फ्राम देर पेरेंट्स टू देर ऑफ सुप्रिंग सो टावर ऑल्सो supported the theory of inheritance of acquired characters next one is kramer he performed experiments on cave dwelling salamander cave dwelling means the salamanders living in caves they have uh, they are you can say vestigial eyes and colorless skin the scientific name of cave dwelling salamander is proteus angurus so after giving daylight the stimulus daylight to that cave dwelling salamander jiski vestigialized thi normalized nahi thi and colorless skin thi that daylight stimulus produce changes in the salamander normalized develop ki unhone aur colored skin 
and uh, these changes produced in the salamander were also inherited means uh, next offspring will transmit to it or to next agar is salamander ki normalized or colored skin develop hui hai to next inke jo offspring the they have also normalized and colored skin so this theory also provide the evidence for theory of inheritance of acquired characters Cremer also performed experiments on spotted salamander. अब उसने क्या किया सेलेमेंडर को डिफरेंट एनवायरमेंट प्रोवाइड किया फॉर एग्जाम्पल कुछ एनवायरमेंट ऐसा प्रोवाइड किया विच है ब्लैक कलर ब्लैक साउंडिंग्स या ऐसा एनवायरमेंट उसे प्रोवाइड किया विच हैव येलो साउंडिंग्स सो जैसा एनवायरमेंट प्रोवाइड किया गया द सेलेमेंडर चेंजेस इट्स कलर बॉडी कलर अकॉर्डिंग टू द एनवायरमेंट If the environment is black, the body color changes black, and if the environment is yellow, the body color changes to yellow. And uh, these characters were also inherited, transmitted to offspring, and their offspring also show the same body color which was present in the in their parents. Lamarckism and evolutionary change. Also, Lamarckism is incomplete and uh, unable to explain all the cases of evolutionary changes, but uh, it has hold good to a certain extent. For example, body characters are not a single attribute, single character. Body characters are controlled by two factors: heritable factors that are genes that are heritable, transmitted from parents to offspring. and uh, other factors environmental conditions so it proves that environmental conditions have have also a major role in determining the body characters so it introduce a change in a particular character and these change can be heritable transmitted from the parents to their next offspring Now, what is the difference between the two theories proposed by Lamarckism, Lamarck, proposed by Lamarck, Lamarckism, and Neo-Lamarckism proposed by T. H. Morgan and Cop? There are certain differences between the two theories. There are certain characters. Uh, we will discuss the characters and uh, differentiate the two theories. First character is nature of theory. A nature of theory, Lamarckism. is the original theory proposed by lamarck ke lamarckism ko lamarck ne propose kiya tha and leon lamarckism thi jo modified form of lamarckism thi by t h morgan and cop modern knowledge ke according lamarckism ko modified kiya gaya tha so that why us theory ko neo lamarckism kaha gaya tha next character differentiate karne ke liye hai factors including variations according to lamarckism the variations are produced due to internal factors some internal factors cause changing change in the body change in environmental factors some environmental factors also cause change in the body and use and disuse of organs these are the factors which cause variations in an organism but according to neo lamarckism change in environmental factor cause the variations in an organism cells involved एज वी नो डेट दे आर टू टाइप सेल्स सोमेटिक सेल्स होते हैं और जर्म लाइन सेल्स होते हैं सोमेटिक सेल्स फॉर्म द बॉडी ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड द जर्म सेल्स दे टेक पार्ट इन रिप्रोडक्शन सो इन लामार्किजम अकॉर्डिंग टू जीन बैप्टिस लामार्क ओनली सोमेटिक सेल्स आर इफेक्टेड एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यू लामार्किजम सोमेटिक एंड जर्म सेल्स और बोथ आर इफेक्टेड nature of inherited characters means the characters which can be inherited according to lamarckism acquired characters are inheritable the characters which are acquired during a lifetime by use or disuse of organism these are acquired and they are inheritable means these are transmitted from the parents to their offspring but according to neo lamarckism which is the modified form of lamarckism only germinal variations are inheritable
because germ cells take part in reproduction to form a new individual so only germinal variations germinal changes are inheritable means these are transmitted from the parents to their offspring so these are the some differences which differentiate between lamarckism and neo lamarckism